Hello, my name is Jesse Pizers. I have the honor of serving as the Vice President for Advancement and External Relations at the University of Houston, Victoria, and I am pleased to participate in this year's Banned Books Virtual Readout. I want to read from The Kite Runner. The Kite Runner is the first Afghan novel translated into English. The author is Khaled Hosseini. Um, this is very much, in my opinion, a novel for our times. It was published shortly after the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan. It is culturally rich in so many ways. It does deal with difficult themes, uh, themes like betrayal, redemption, family, violence, and the past that all of us have. As a matter of fact, its dealings with the past is probably the most compelling thing to me. All in all, it is an absolutely gripping and compelling and relatable novel. I would highly recommend it to you, and I would like to read a brief section of it today. I'm going to read all of chapter one, but don't worry, that's just one page. So. The Kite Runner uh, from the uh, UHV Library. So chapter one. I became what I am today at the age of 12 on a frigid overcast day in the winter of 1975. I remember the precise moment crouching behind a crumbling mud wall, peeking into the alley near the frozen creek. That was a long time ago, but it's wrong what they say about the past, I've learned, about how you can bury it. Because the past claws its way out. Looking back now, I realize I have been peeking into that deserted alley for the last 26 years. One day last summer, my friend Rahim Khan called from Pakistan. He asked me to come see him. Standing in the kitchen with the receiver to my ear, I knew it wasn't just Rahim Khan on the line. It was my past of unatoned sins. After I hung up, I went for a walk along Speckles Lake on the northern edge of Golden Gate Park. The early afternoon sun sparkled on the water where dozens of miniature boats sailed, propelled by a crisp breeze. Then I glanced up and saw a pair of kites, red with long blue tails, soaring in the sky. They danced high above the trees on the west end of the park, over the windmills, floating side by side like a pair of eyes, looking down on San Francisco, the city I now call home. And suddenly Hassan's voice whispered in my head, for you a thousand times over. Hassan, the hair-lipped kite runner. I sat on a park bench near a willow tree. I thought about something Rahim Khan said just before he hung up, almost as an afterthought. There is a way to be good again. I looked up at those twin kites. I thought of Hassan, thought of Baba, Ali, Kabul. I thought of the life I had lived until the winter of 1975 came along and changed everything and made me what I am today. I recommend it. The Kite Runner. Thank you very much.